Kelly, my dear. Oh, I couldn't. It goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself. But dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are Need the something? best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hard to spoil. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho oh, ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Had a rumpf. Well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. to host an old friend for a decade or two. Pelagius the Third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death! That's right! Death! Outlawed! Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? Really? Ooh, ooh, what kind of message? A song, a summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? What? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! <laughs> I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter! Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You don't realize who you're dealing with here. Jolly good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. THE mad god, actually. It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you... You can call me Anne-Marie. But only if you're partial to being flayed alive and having an angry immortal skip rope with your entrails. If not, then call me Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness. Charmed. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not 
I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. <laughs> 